Good morning, Cougars. It's announcement time. I'm Zoe, and today is Friday, September 25th, 2020. And I'm Taylor, and it's a white day. Please, Please rise and join us for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For today's lunch, we have buffalo crunchers, the premium meal is Cuban pork sandwich or pasta bar. And for the sides, we have carrots, baked beans, and blueberries. For Monday's lunch, we have pepperoni rippers. The premium meal is tenders bar and cheese or pepperoni pizza. And for the sides, we have sugar snap peas, roasted vegetables, and grapes. Hey, let's start off our show with a joke. Oh, okay. I have a good one. What did the duck say when he bought lipstick? Um, I don't know. What? Put it on my bill. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> hey, don't forget our September <laughs> character word. That's right. This is the last full week of the month, and we have been focusing on responsibility. Yes, and it means taking ownership in what you say and do, an important life skill for sure. Hey, Cougars, now is the time to order your yearbook, and it's super easy to order, but you can only order online right now. There are only $25 for our back-to-school special. 2021 20, yearbooks can be ordered at www.johnstons.com or from the homepage of our CMS website. This is sure to be a year to remember, so make sure you are ordering yours now. Our CMS cross-country team raced at Eastgate Middle School this past Wednesday with six runners in the top ten. Yes, our top ten runners are Catherine McLaughlin for Girls B Team, Jacob Johnston, Dylan Chisholm, Miles McFarlane, and Austin Hinkle for Boys A Team, and Emily Wolk for Girls A-Team. Congratulations to all of our runners yesterday. Great job to our football teams on a great performance this past Tuesday. B-Team was able to come away with the win, and though they gave it their best efforts, A-Team was not able to come away with it this time. But there's always next time. Best of luck Tuesday against Newmark. And congratulations to both our A and B-Team Lady Cougar Volleyball players on yet another win against Antioch. That's right, they're still undefeated. Way to go, Lady Cougars. Our volleyball teams have a bye week coming up next week, so they will have plenty of time to work on keeping that streak going against Summit Lakes on Wednesday, September 30th. Don't forget, there's an easy way to report bullying here at CMS called the Spurgio Program, and it's super easy to access. All you have to do is go to the Congress website, find the Spurgio icon, and click on it, then enter the information. Please make sure to use this resource if needed, as we want to make sure everyone feels safe coming to school each and every day. Hey, Cougars, don't forget, this month we are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month with weekly challenge questions to highlight famous Latinas and their contributions. This week's trivia question for our Hispanic Heritage Challenge was, she was born in 1925 in Cuba. She is known as the Queen of Salsa. One of her most favorite songs most famous songs is titled La Vida es un Carnival. And her unique voice and bold style made her famous around the world and helped her win several international music awards. And the answer is Celia Cruz. Thank you to all of you who participated in this challenge. Make sure you are listening in our show next week for the next Hispanic Person of Interest challenge question. Are you ready for our weekly Wicker challenge? The past two weeks, we have focused on writing and inquiry. Hopefully, you, have occasion you will occasionally look back at your courageous reminder and your personal courage to remind you that you have hashtag Cougar Courage. This week, we have been focusing on the C, cooperation. Our worker challenge for you this week was to stop by the Encore Bulletin Board in the cafe and grab a puzzle piece to decorate. Did you grab a puzzle piece so you could show all of the amazing things you bring to our Congress community? Again, this is a great way to show the individual contributions and that we cooperatively make to our Congress community. And now we have a current events special report from our virtual learning world reporter, Isaiah Iono. Australian wildfires? Well, they're coming back to haunt us within the U.S. These wildfires started on September 5th in El Dorado Ranch Park, Yukaita. But these fires were not started by natural causes, no, these fires were started by people. This all happened because of one family's gender reveal party. They used a smoke generating pyrotechnic device which caught a tree on fire and spread throughout California. 
but there are not just fires in California. No, fires have also started in Oregon. Oregon's fires were started two days after California's fires. On September 7th, a power line fell down and a dry bush ignited. Portland's General Electric turned off the power grid near Mount Hood, leaving thousands without electricity, but they were too late and the fire had already started. They were hoping that the windstorm would put out the fire, but it was too good to be true. Firefighters are working day in and day out to put out these fires. So far, there are, are these fires have in Oregon have destroyed 1,500 homes and three people have died. While in California, 925 houses have been burned down along with 565 buildings. Also, 85 people have died. Right now, people are on their toes, nervous on how things will play out, but we are always hoping for the best. Wow, such an important and tragic event. Great job on reporting on this important issue, Isaiah. Make sure you are showing our amazing teachers how much you appreciate all that they do. That's right. What better way to show love and appreciation for our teachers than to fill out a Thank a Teacher form? Teachers, please have your students open their laptops, go to our Congress webpage, and complete a Thank a Congress teacher slash staff member form now. Well, that's all for today. I'm Zoe, and today is Friday, September 25th. And I'm Taylor, and it's a white day. Have, Have an, an awesome, awesome weekend, weekend Cougars. Cougars.